Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up, showing the slab in today's game, Aaron Savali. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep board hitters board. guessing, and all of his stuff but seems to be coming board. out of the same arm oh, slot, the same tunnel, and that board. can make life very difficult on his opponents. The wind of the pitch. Austin oh, Slater, oh. the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. even close there two and oh wouldn't chase that time let's see if he gives him anything to hit here and there's the automatic one. Right through there for a strike. Careful. Swings through and for the pin. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So here's Wade now. That's inside, and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. In the air to left, down the line. The Rosarena sizing this one up, two away. That is good. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think oh. with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Pitch misses there. One and one. That one hammered center field back there. And that one is gone. And the Giants have the lead now. It's one nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Two outs, space is empty. Michael Conforto, the next giant to hit. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the end. Now, ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Tropicana Field, and today's starting pitcher, Kyle Harrison. What should we keep an eye on here? 
There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Bottom of the first. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz. As the lefty gets to work. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Harold Ramirez at the dish. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now the lefty. Foul ball there. Diaz aboard here at first with nobody out. Runner on the move. Fouled off. He was late. The one two. This one popped up. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. That is good. No left field. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Isaac Paredes. Oh, Boog, he's got great power just to every section of the ballpark, man. I love watching guys like this who can give it a ride to the opposite field or go dead center. I mean, that's really hitting. When you can hit and drive the ball up the middle other way, look out. Keep an eye out on this guy when he digs in. I wouldn't be surprised to see him launch one in this game. Randy or Rosarena, the next to hit, takes ball one. Line drive, caught! That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. That you hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Isaac Paredes now is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Oh. And takes low for ball one. And another ball. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. Oh, and there's a ball. Great one. Kicks and fires. Strike two. Great on the ice spot here. Great. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. At the belt and fires. And ball uh, four uh, to a board. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning Not alive. It gives this offense the a good good chance to cut into their oh, deficit. Man. First and second, two down. And stepping in for the Rays, Ahmed Rosario. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. 
Fall off foul. Line to left. And that will end the inning. So the Rays strand a pair. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Now in Tampa Bay, second inning, set to go. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Right into the play. One ball, two straight. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Chapman is gone. Tyro is strutted to the plate. There's a strike. Savali, a guy that really fills up the strike zone, rarely walks people. The downside is the home run ball more likely in play. One down, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. And this is inside. Well, pitchers like this usually work down in the zone a lot, but these days, with all the uppercut swings most hitters are taking to elevate the no. ball, pitchers almost have to be effective up in the zone with hard stuff. So maybe that's one area he can improve in his game to try to combat that long ball. Got the bat going too soon in strike two. As a hitter, does knowing that this guy's going to be in the zone, does that make you more aggressive? Kind of, but you still have to stay on that back side. You've got to make sure you get pitch recognition and let your hands work. Bounce to the right. Me. Tosses to first. And Estrada is out. Did you ever really need a cue to be more aggressive? No, I never did. Especially when it comes to messing with you. Wow. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Oh, and he hit him. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. And yeah, the batter now, Patrick Bailey. Puts it in the air out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on, and two out. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach, didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Nick Ahmed in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two on, two outs. The shortstop takes the ball. One and one. First and second, two down. That misses the zone, and it's two and two.
Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Two outs. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. No runs, a hit, two left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants one, the Rays nothing. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the rookie second baseman, the second Curtis baseman. Mead. Curtis Mead. The wind of the pitch. And oh. that's outside. And that is ball one. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The punch out there. One gone here. And now it's Jose Siri. That one lifted to left. Conforto. Has this one sized up? Drops into the glove. And there are two down. Batting it. Jose, Jose Caballero Jose. next to hit for the Rays. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Rays held in check here. They trail here. One, nothing. And we're back. Top off half off of the third the inning. Now it's the, the Giants' hitter. leadoff hitter, Austin Off Slater. Slater. There's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why... Caballero, now the throw to first on the yeah. run. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The battle. The first base hit, Lamont Wade Jr. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Fly to left his first time. In there at the knees. Wade in his fifth season, 30 years old now, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2015. Clips the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. to the right side me first two batters retired here in the top of the third the center fielder number two Jorge Soler Jorge Soler up at the plate he's already homered in this game swing and a miss that's strike one good late sink on that fastball out of the hand looks so good and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Oh, two. two out spaces empty. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. But they hold a 1-0 lead.
And welcome back and to the ballpark go the as way. we go the to the last of the third. Oh. Now up for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. Oh, he doesn't oh. get the call. Ball one. one. Line drive, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Just a cookie down, down the middle. Down. I mean, those are the ones That's you dream here. about. But those in the cage, you just hope you get in the ball game. Right yeah. down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Back to the top of the lineup. And next is the designated hitter, Yandy Diaz. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Oh. And ball one. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0, he's put himself in a really good spot. 2 0 to count. Here it comes. No. And delivers outside. Harold Ramirez up next for the Rays. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Oh. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. The pitch. And yeah, there's Take ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big yeah, inning right. plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody oh. out, and they're in the heart of their oh. order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. One found hard the other way. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. There's a strike. Traffic on the bases with one already in here in the last half of the third. Hit on the ground might be two. Quickly to second for one. Over to no, first in there. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good down yeah, break on that one. The third base <laughs> oh, Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. He reached out a walk his first time. Right through there for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And that one fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh, and two now. Backed off the plate that time.
could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy in the fastball. Two on, one out. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And he deals. That one down the line. That's a base hit. One runs in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now. We're still only one away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Over one so far. Very high with that one. And it's one and oh. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Fly ball to right. Drifts towards it. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. Just ahead of the throw. He scores. It's 3-1. Well, that's the third run of the inning. And this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. Now it's the second baseman. Curtis Mead. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there for strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Two outs. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to inning number four. Raise three, and the Giants won. Back now in Leave Tampa Bay. Done. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Savali back to work. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. All well, these Giants, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Oh, and it hits the base! And he'll be safe at first. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. He probably would have been able to drive that pitch on the outside if he let it just get a little deeper and look to hit it to the opposite field. But he made it work out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. That's inside. Ball one. Towards first, and it goes just foul. The Giants trailing by two, top half of inning number four. And that skips into there.
ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Goes to second. Safe there. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Grounded out his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Strike on the inside corner. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. In there. And so now one and two. Conforto on second. Chapman on at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And here it comes. And now the count filled up three and two. Mike Yastrzemski on deck for San Francisco. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty delivers. And the swing of the miss. And that is a big first out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Two on, one out. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. That one's in there, 0-1. No At ball. the dish, one looking strike. to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground, two ball. Ramirez, toss the second, return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left. We're midway in the fourth, raise three, and the Giants won. Back here at Tropicana Field, now it's going to be Jose Siri. Wind of the pitch. That one not close. And that's ball one. Well, these Rays doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything one thrown ball. at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. Next pitch is downstairs. On the inside corner for a strike. Up the middle. A dive. He's got it. From his knees, the throw. But he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Wow. He did everything he could on that play with the throw from his knee, but... The hustle down the line was enough to earn him the infield knock, and that's a great baseball play all the way around. Met at first, and now the shortstop, Jose Caballero. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Runner takes off, pitch in for a strike. Throw, save, that's a stolen base. Really nice swipe a second right there, and he knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. Man, such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one ripped. That's back. And it hits the fence. Around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. 
Paul has a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch misses. Runner at second, nobody out. That pitch gets the inside corner. And the count one and one. Activity in the bullpen. Nick Avila getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Man at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Oh. Twings and misses, Ooh. it's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the now plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, Yogi. just needs to let the ball travel a little yeah. more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Yandy Diaz now. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty. Breaking ball in there for a strike. The 0-2. In the air, left field. Conforto snags it on the run. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder the coming open the instead of staying three. closed. Hey, if he whoa. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's hard hit in the line. Conforto makes the catch, and the inning is over. Rays get an RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back. Leading Top off, five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Patrick, Patrick Bailey. 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 Here comes a pitch. A little bit high, maybe. One and oh. Well, these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Here's a 1 1. And a rope into center field, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. A couple of now hits in a row guy. for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And a base hit right there. Throw back in quickly. 
first and second now with nobody out. Now battle. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Austin Slater stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the pitch right through there for a strike. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Oh, wow. That's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And the one two misses to even the count. Ground ball could be two. Feed to second, oh. that's one. Out of first, it'll oh. play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Great textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. And here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. And a foul ball left side. Bailey on third with two out. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One left for San Francisco, and they trail it 4-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and now Randy Arozarena. The pitch. No. Up and in, ball one. Well, these Rays, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-1. Randy Rosarena could probably run the bases blindfolded with the amount of home runs he hits. playing with that high fastball and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time absolutely crushed that pitch Bob Melvin hands the baseball over Kyle Harrison departs and this is one he'd like to forget back with a new arm after this So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Nick Avila. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. Swings through that one for strike Come one. On. Speaking strike. of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. Now one and one. One and one.
That one missed. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Line drive. Puts it away for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And stepping in is the speedy Ahmed Rosario. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Ball, low. Just okay. missed. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. One down. Curtis Mee next to hit for the Rays. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Runner on the go to the right side. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Around third. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Siri. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. There's a strike. Right-handed reliever. And that one hammered Solaire. Ranging back. He brought it back. The batter number, number seven. seven. Shortstop. Shortstop. Jose. So man Caballero. aboard. Jose Caballero. Next to hit for the Rays. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. One the ball. shortstop One takes the ball. Just off the inside edge. Two and one. Me off of first with two away. There's a strike. Two outs. Down the left field line. Hit the extra bases. Coming home. The relay. And he's out. Okay. Not down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning.
Chop six and digging in for San Francisco. Jorge Soler. First pitch and he just misses. Soler, 32 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Kicks and deals. Not close with that one. Ball two. Solaire tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. There's a swing and a drive. Rosario going back. Up against the wall, and brings it in. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite roll it up enough to really drive it. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Matt Chapman. In the air, right field. Rosario after it. He's got it. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays six and the Giants one. Well, we go bottom six, go. and now the catcher comes up to him. Look Rene that. Pinto. Pinto. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And now it's even up. Swings and fouls one off. And down on strikes. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now Next is the designated hitter, Yandy Diaz. Diaz. That one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. His second of the year, and they add on. It's 7 1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, you waited for it. He's like BP all over again. One out, base is empty. And now here is Harold Ramirez. One for three. Oh. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Strike two. Oh, two. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the bottom of the sixth. That one, one misses. Now one and two. Oh. 
One down, base is empty. Lined, and that's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. At the belt and fires. Breaking ball inside. One and, one. and the count is one and one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Wouldn't Two chase that one time. Spin. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Right side. That one gets down for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now that's now three hits Good in a row for the offense. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. At the play, Isaac Paredes oh. right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Ramirez, the lead runner out at second. A Rosarena over at first with one away. Ground ball right side could be two. Ahmed for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. And the Rays get one on a solo shot. It's now 7-1. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Savali back to work. Nope, Just missed. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Sean Armstrong, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Clevenger getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. Right, he was move. late there. Strike one. One ball, one strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Pace hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And first offering is fouled off. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. The pitch. 
Swing and a grounder foul for space side. Two two down. Struck him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Man at first. Now Patrick that. Bailey, yep. the next giant to hit. Bailey. And that one wrapped foul. Man at first, one away. High in the air, out to right. Rosario in position. Rosario makes the play. Now that is shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Nick Ahmed here to hit. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. In there, and it's 0-1. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Oh, two. Two outs. One in the ball. dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. And he deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Got it by him for the K. So the Giants leave one. They're down seven to one. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. And a pitch. That clips the corner. Bounce to third. Chapman throws to yeah. first. Yeah. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Good late bite on now that back slider. Back. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over Curtis. on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. That one finds the zone. And it's 0 1. one. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And the pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. You know, Boog, you often think the of sliders bat. more for the that three. horizontal movement, oh, but most of the good ones have both vertical yeah, tap yeah. and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. This one in the air center field. Solaire getting an angle on it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Sean Armstrong. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And now it's the Please Giants' DH, off. Austin the Slater. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Slater. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Oh. 
And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. One and two to count. Swings and misses. And there's one down. Now bad. Lamont Wade Jr., the next giant to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out of ground out and a strikeout. Wouldn't chase that time. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Chris Davinsky up and throwing. One down, base is empty. Nope. Just okay. missed. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Oh. Edge of the zone for a strike. Two and two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. The center fielder, number two. And now the center Jorge. fielder, Jorge Soler. He's already homered here in this one. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Caballero on the run, throw to first. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Unfortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. Runner at first with two away. Michael Conforto will climb in. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Now it's Matt Chapman. Oh, that one off the mark. Ball one. Solaire at second. Conforto on at first with two down. Line to left. And that's a fair ball. Around third. He'll score easily. It's seven to two. Safely into second. He's got a double. Nicely done. Brings home two. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And up next for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. One strike. Slapped foul. Runner at second, two down. Light drive, and a base hit. Chapman headed home. The throw in, he scores, it's 7-4. Picks himself up in RBI. Nice line drive to the whole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. into the game the righty Pete Fairbanks hasn't pitched in the last three days
Two outs, runner at first. Mike Yastrzemski digs in now. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The 0 1. Slider misses outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's out number three. Three runs, three hits, an error, and one left on base. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Rays seven and the Giants four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Rogers. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now up for Tampa and Bay, Jose Caballero. The shortstop. Jose Caballero. And here it comes. Almost got him. Sometimes it takes a couple of pitches to get a feel, especially when you move from that bullpen mound into this game mound. And the right-hander deals. Oh. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers up and loosening in the pen. And the pitch. No, that's a ball. No, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit oh, here. Oh. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Leading Hitter off. didn't offer at it. Now he has the somebody catcher. to worry about over at first. And yeah, now the catcher Pinto. for the Rays, Rene Pinto. And first offering is fouled off. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. One Not ball. even One close strike. there. And it's a ball and a strike. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The one-two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh, that one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. To first, might be two. To second, that's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So the lineup flips over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Out towards right center field. Hauls it in to end the inning. 
So they make short work of them there. Through eight full, it's the Rays seven and the Giants four. Back now in Leave Tampa Bay, all set to start the ninth the in this one. one. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick, Patrick Bailey. Bailey. The pitch. Fastball in for a strike. Fairbanks measures six feet, six inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that's a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. The next offering misses. Yeah, the count one and, two. one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, right just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. He's two outs away. Nick Ahmed now at the plate. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. Right down the shoot. It's a ball in two strikes. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Good eye in that spot. Pitch misses. Three and two down. One out. Base is empty. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. Oh, that was a good at bat. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Slater, batted with one down, takes a strike. Here's the 0-2. One ball. Two strikes. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Ahmed at first. One gone. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Wait, in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. That one's in there. And that's strike two. Uh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Right through there. Got it. Ball game. 
Well, someone from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. This one finishes with a final of seven to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long from Tampa Bay.